Since its inception in 1931, the Jega Lakuta Reverso has changed very little. A whopping 90 years on. And you know what? Why should it? The JLC Reverso in its current form is a winner. It need not change and should keep its principles to what is an absolutely iconic timepiece that has truly stood the test of time and shows zero signs of slowing as we go to a new era. The rectangular face and look is synonymous to JLC. Instantly recognizable from those who know their way around the world of wristwatches. Jaeger Lakuta was founded in 1833 by a pocket watchmaker, Anton Lakuta, in Le Sentier, Switzerland. You all know my love for the JLC brand, with me gifting the Atmos clock to my wife as a wedding anniversary gift. You will see a link to that in the description of this video to go and have a closer look at the clock. The Atmos clock was my very first introduction to JLC and I have ever since found myself encapsulated and mesmerized by this truly special brand. The Reverso watch is instantly recognizable thanks to its rectangular face that is flippable, inspired by the Latin word Reverso, which means to turn around. The year 1931, the Reverso was born. The watch was commissioned by British army officers stationed in India. The ambition was to come up with a watch that would be functional and indeed wearable whilst the officers play the game of polo. Polo is a very tough sport and of course, Back in the 1930s, the crystals of the watch face, face was not as strong as they are today. The problem was the watches were breaking or cracking from the sheer velocity of the game of polo. The ball hitting the face of the watch and so on. The Reverso design therefore allowed for the watch face to be flipped and for the watch to actually stand the test of a game of polo. This watch is not just stylish, it is also practical. And finally, the watch was ready to take a battering during the polo match. The iconic JLC Reverso is in steel, stainless steel, thanks to its strength. The technical details of this watch, it's a 47 by 28, millimeter watch with a thickness of 10.3 millimeters and in this particular model it is a blue sunray brushed dial absolutely gorgeous and you'll often find yourself sitting at the traffic light driving your car just looking at the, the, the different glimmers that comes from the dial as the sun bounces off of it it's a manual winding movement and on the reverse side you have a second time zone with an hour and minute display. It has a 48 hour, hour power reserve which means in theory it should last 48 hours before you would need to wind it again. But it is recommended that you do wind it each morning which guarantees enough power until the next day. The watch comes on a leather strap from the iconic polo boot maker, Casa Fagliano. The strap is spectacular, smells, looks and feels wonderful. Rotating the bezel, you can see the adjuster, which allows me to, to adjust the alternate clock face. In my case, I have it set to the time zone of Brisbane, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Let's just talk about the emotions. The JLC Reverso is a watch that emits and brings out the very best of emotions in a watch enthusiast. Granted, it is not a green bezel Daytona or one of those hype beast Nautiluses. Anyone who has a serious passion 
for horology has a special place in their heart for the iconic JLC Reverso. The JLC Reverso is a permanent piece. Why would you sell it? Why? You just could not. It is classy, sophisticated, and oozes charm. This watch stirs up conversation. We see so much superficial boasting where likes and views are some form of currency. This watch does the exact opposite. The wearer is wearing it because he knows the watch and the class this watch has. The beauty of this watch is that it can be worn by both husband and wife. In conclusion, if you have the chance to buy the JLC Reverso, any model that is, whether it be this version or another, the JLC Reverso will charm you. 100%, no doubt about it. Go and buy the JLC Reverso. Thank you very much for your time and attention. If you can like, subscribe, and leave us a comment, that'll be much appreciated. Until next time.